Hi everybody, it's Patty Rockstar Mom. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. It's early morning for me. Jim is on the golf course, which is what happens most mornings in our household. But I thought I would do uh, a get ready with me just using some miscellaneous uh, product that I already have in my stash. And I want to try something today. I I have two different IT uh, Cosmetics foundations. One, as you can see, is pretty darn empty. And the other one is almost full. One is the Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer SPF 50. And the other one is the uh, Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream anti-aging hydrating serum SPF 50 plus they look similar this one is in neutral medium and this one is in medium I'm gonna be testing those one on each side of my face and see whether or not I want to repurchase this I will tell you that I've, I'm going through a lot of my product trying to use it up and I've been using this a lot here lately and I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to compare it to this to see if I really do want to repurchase it. I do know I like this shade better, and I don't know if the uh, CC Plus cream comes in the neutral medium. We'll see. Oops. I'll touch my light. So many of you ask about this uh, mirror, and it is so old. I think I got it at Walmart, but the base, I'll touch it. See, it went off, and it has three different brightnesses. So I normally use it on the third, the brightest, but if you touch it, the base of it, anywhere, it is so sensitive, it will turn off. I'm also today using a beauty blender, which I haven't used a beauty blender in forever, but I have these, and I've decided I'm going to try them, especially with my foundation. I'm so used to, you know, I'm just so used to using my flat top brush to, or to press it into my skin. I'm going to try that so it's all wet and ready to go, and oh, something else that I want to talk to you today a little bit later is uh, a little email that I received from one of you a couple of weeks ago and asked if I could share it, and they said yes. Pretty touching. Uh, I want to share that with you. Okay, so as I said, this is just going to be pretty much a little bit of everything product-wise. Some drugstore and a little bit higher end, but not terribly expensive anything. Okay, uh, and again, remember that these are not tutorials. I've been doing my makeup for many, many years, and I'm always changing my makeup. I'm trying new things. If something doesn't seem to work anymore, I try something else. I'm not the expert. This is not a tutorial on how to do anything. My face ready. It's all prepped with everything I need. I am going to use, if I can get enough out of this tube, the Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. And I need to check and see if this is still available. And I will put it across the screen here if, if it is or if it's not. But I do like the fact that it's in a pump. I got some out. <laughs> And we're just going to use this on this side of my face. As I said, I really like this color or this shade for my skin. So it's Sunday morning. What are you guys doing? I have absolutely <clears throat> nothing planned today. Yesterday especially was uh, a football day on the TV. Football and soccer. Okay, on this side of my face, I'm going to use the CC Plus. And I wiped my finger off.
I do know that I can adjust this if I decide not to order the foundation again. I can adjust the color a little bit. I think they go on about the same. Okay, what do you think? Now, what I'm seeing in my mirror with my lights may be totally different from what you're seeing on your device that you're watching on. You know, the colors can always be off. For sure, the lighting. I apologize. I realized my microphone was not on. Or I didn't have it actually plugged in. I will say, just in feeling it, it feels different. The... Foundation, I think, has a better dry down time. We'll test that again just a little bit later. I'm using, uh, and by the way, I will list everything below in the Show More. And if you don't know where to find it, the Show More box or the description box or when I say below this video, go back to the last two videos that I did and there's a little uh, two or three minute clip on the very end of those videos that will tell you exactly how to find the, that if you're new to YouTube. I don't do a whole lot to these brows. They've always been pretty sparse. Pretty sure I've never tweezed them in my life. I'm using the Laura Geller Kajal Longwear Eyeliner, and this is the navy blue. It's that big fat stick. I'm using my Tartlet from Tarte Palette. And let's find us a brush here. Well, I did not do a good job with bringing brushes in here, so you know what? We're going to make do with what we have. I did bring my uh, clean sweep to clean my brush with and this is just a Real Techniques domed shadow brush. I'm going to start off with Super Mom, which is the lightest color. I'm going to go all over my lid. You can use whatever you have. If you want to, I can't imagine it, but if you want to try to duplicate what I'm doing, just use what you have. Similar colors. This is not going to be anything fancy. And I'm going to use Power Player, which is right here. It's a, a taupey color. And I'm just patting it on all over the mobile, the part that where your eye eyeball is, just patting it, trying not to rub my eyelid. Don't want that skin to be any looser than it already is. Try to make it a little bit darker on the outer corners. And I go up onto my brow bone. And if I didn't show you, I'm just holding my clean sweep right there on the mirror so I have it handy. And just blending. And I want to make sure that I don't have this eyeshadow coming down. I want it up so that it's lifting my eye up. I did bring this, a tiny little, this is an e.l.f. It says eye crease brush. And I'm not going to use it in my crease, but I am going to go under my lashes with that color, that taupey color that I was. Uh-oh. Look. How did that happen? The Essence Volume Booster. A little trick I learned from Emily Noel is when it comes to the 
lash primers, less is more. I used to try to use this and I had the biggest mess you've ever seen with my eyelashes. I've wiped most of this off of my brush. And we're gonna let that dry just a tiny bit. It feels the same, but I, can't, I will tell you this. I have the dark sunspots on both sides of my faces. I barely can see them here. I can see them a lot on this side. Now it could be because I'm using the sponge. As a matter of fact, hold tight my brush. This is the CC Plus. Much, much better. I certainly could have put concealer there, but you know, I shouldn't have to if with a good full coverage. So let's go back to this. That's why I don't like these. If you want just a sheer wash of color foundation wise, that beauty, uh, the beauty blender or sponge will probably work perfect for you. Can't see those spots at all now. Not at all. Okay, I have my computer and I want to read you this letter or email that I received. You know how I always ask you to be kind and, and we, we never know, I've said this so many times, we never know how it's going to affect people that we are kind to. And he, a couple of videos ago, I asked you in the, in the video to tell me one kind thing you had done that day or the day before. And that is what prompted uh, this email to me. And it's long, and I'm sure that's probably why he, and it's a he, emailed it rather than actually put it in a comment. And I'm just so lucky I saw this because I get so many emails every single day that I, I miss emails all the time on this account. So if you've sent me a, an email and I don't respond to you, it's just because it may have gotten in the junk or spam or because I had so many that day it just got past me. But here we go. He says, Patty, I had to email you about what happened last week and this morning. I'm a security officer for a large office building in North Dallas and have been the security supervisor in that building since 2008. Okay, so last Monday a woman came in. I recognized her because she goes to a counselor slash psychologist every week. She handed me a wallet and said, this is important. When I looked at the wallet, I saw identification in the form of a Texas driver's license, and the wallet had hundreds of dollars in cash. I recognized immediately that the owner it was a young man that cares for the plants on the top floor, which is a law firm. I was fortunate that I had his cell number in the security cell phone. He had not even realized that he had dropped his wallet. His name is and he said, I want to give that kind lady a nice plant. And he asked me to thank her. Well, today he did bring the plant. And I was pretty certain of who she came to see every Monday. So I reached out to that doctor and he said, yes, I was correct because she had mentioned finding the wallet. Now here is where I, it, now here is where it got interesting for me, he says. You always say be kind, and the woman was definitely kind in what she did. I was waiting in the first floor lobby by my security desk when she came in. I gave her the plan and told her how thankful this young man was. The doctor had already told me her first name, which he pronounced the same as yours. 
when I presented her with the plant, I asked her, how do you spell your name? And she said, P-A-T-T-I. I was like, OMG, this is not a coincidence. You were right there in my heart showing how great it is to simply be kind. I shared this with so many and when I pat I shared this with so many and when I posted your picture on my Facebook, my friend another name that used to work at my building said, OMG, I follow her. I was floored by both that I could be called I was floored by both that could be called coincidences. Let me say that again. I was floored by both that could be called coincidences, but these things were from God. So see, Miss Patty, you are so great in always saying, be kind. And he went on and said some nice, sweet things to me. So I don't believe in coincidences. I really don't, but what, I mean, think about what are the odds of not just finding the wallet and the process to get it to the rightful owner and then it coming back to the person who actually found the wallet and turned it in, but uh, our names being the same our, uh, and spelled the same, and then him posting it and someone saying, oh, I follow her too. And what I didn't tell you because I didn't tell the names is that the person who sent me the email, his name is first name is the same first name as the young man who lost the wallet. How do you explain it? I don't know. But what a neat story all about being kind. Okay, my lights are hot. Let's cool off. Much better. I think before I put the mascara on, I'm gonna line the top of my eyes. This is the Mal Milani Highly Rated Love. This mascara, I haven't done this in a long time and this is a relatively new one. So for those of you who are new, this is a trick that I have been doing since I was in my 20s. I don't know where I learned it, but I always bend my mascara wand. When you take it out, you just put it right back in, just barely to the uh, where the bristles start and sort of bounce it. Give it a little bit more. Very gentle. I've only, in all these years, I found a couple that won't bend, but I've only broken two in all these years. And the reason I do it is because I don't have to get out like this and out like this. It makes applying your mascara so easy. Someone told me once, maybe the first time I showed it, oh, Wayne Goss taught us that trick. I love Wayne, but I was doing this probably before, well, I know I was doing this before Wayne was born. And I don't think for one minute Wayne saw me do it. You know how they say everything that's old is new again? Is that the way the saying goes? Everything old is new again. I think I started to do this before and I never got to it, but it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. And I am going to just use this. I don't know, I know it's a real technique. It's worn, the name is worn off. It's probably a blush brush or something. But just very lightly, because this is, this foundation is it's dried down, shiny though. I'm gonna leave that open just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna do a tad bit more mascara. I am so excited. My daughter is coming to see me. I haven't seen her since 
Christmas. And uh, she's doing a rapid test. She's driving. And she's doing a rapid test before she leaves there. And then she's uh, already arranged to have one when she gets here because she knows she's going to be uh, making stops on the way. Uh, the It Bye Bye Pours Naturally Pretty Blush. And she's going to stay for a few days, so I can't wait to see her. She loves Jim's cooking. But in the last few months, she has gone gluten-free because of some health issues that she's had. So we've, Jim is, you know, he does all of our cooking. So he's scurrying around trying to figure out what he's going to feed her. Okay, I'm trying to use this up too. It's the Creaseless uh, Concealer by Tarte. And I use this in light sand. I really can't see how much is in there, but I think it's almost empty. I'll try the Beauty Blender. No. And again, notice I am not rubbing, I am patting. Gonna, I have a small fluffy brush here. I'm gonna go back into my, and just very lightly set that. And these are all old, old makeup brushes. I say, use what you have. Okay, and I'm gonna go back with my Laura Geller. This is Rimmel Cafe Olay Lip Pencil. My favorite forever. Someone wrote in comments the other, a video or two ago that I had no lip, uh, I had no wrinkles above my lips. Listen, I do. Remember the lights. This is e.l.f. a little e.l.f. lipstick. I think it says taffy. If you think that eyeliner is not going to stay there, look, how long ago did I put that on my hand? I'm going to finish off with a little bit of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Brand new can. I love this. It's such a fine mist. It's very inexpensive. I get it at Ulta. I will list it with everything else, but it sort of takes down any powdery look from the powdering. So that's it. That is it. What here? Do me a favor. Can you tell a difference in this side of my face that has the Bye Bye Foundation and this side that has the CC Cream? They feel the same. I can't see any of my spots at all over here. I mean, none. But I can see some spots here. So what do you think? Foundation or CC cream? Foundation, CC cream. You tell me. All right, now I have another channel that I want you to go look at and I'll have their information in the description box below, the show more. It's a mother and daughter, and their names are Melanie and Molly. That's the name of the channel, Melanie and Molly. And I found this channel because, well, a couple of videos ago, in a comment, something was said that drew me over to see if they did have a channel, and if they did, I wanted to see what it was about and I was sucked in. I was a binge watcher 
there for a while. They have very few videos up, and they're still a relatively small channel, but they are so cute, so cute. They have a, a sense of humor that you're just you're you're just sitting on the edge of your chair waiting to hear what's going to be funny next. It's the way they interact with each other, mother and daughter. I know my daughter and I can get real silly at times, and I bet if you have daughters, you probably, even sons, I would imagine, but for sure daughters, you can get silly if you have a close relationship with them. But it's that relationship, and you, you can just tell how close they are. The first video I watched was their introduction, and it was, let me see, the video I'm going to link of theirs is called Who We Are Bloopers. It's hilarious. It will give you your daily laugh for sure. You know, I've always heard that uh, great comedians are not just funny, but it's their timing. You know, you can tell a, you can tell a story, and you, I think you can tell a funny story, but if you have the right timing when you tell that story, it's just that much funnier. And that's what they do. It, it's just their timing, the way they interact with each other. And at the end of, I think, every single video, you think the video is over. And then they show you the bloopers or the outtakes. And I mean, I, maybe I have a weird sense of humor. I don't know. But I'm telling you, I have laughed myself silly watching Melanie and Molly. The little bloopers video is only about two minutes long. Okay, the very next video that you want to watch is called Battle of the Hair Tools. Mama, Melanie, uses her electric rollers and Molly uses a curling wand. That's funny, the way they talk about it and it's in and of itself, but Toward the end of that video, and it's not very long either, about 20 minutes, but it's worth every minute of watching it. But toward the end, Molly shows a picture of her first perm. And when that picture came up on the screen, I was here by myself, just with Biscuit, and I started laughing. And it was, I was to the point of it being hysterical. I was laughing out loud. I would look away to sort of calm myself down and then I would glance back at that picture and I and I'm gonna laugh <laughs> I mean I'm I can't think about it without laughing I mean <laughs> Biscuit didn't know what the heck was going on I am I was laughing so hard I was crying I was laughing so hard I was bent over double I mean, we've seen so many pictures like that. I know, I know we all have, and, and I think many of us probably had that same perm, but it, <laughs> you just have got to watch that video and watch it all the way to the end so that you can see that picture. And I tell you what, you do it and you come back and you let me know. Just come back to this video and... Type another comment and tell me that you watched that video and if you thought it was funny, if you thought that picture was just hilarious. Uh, I know it can't be just me, but... ...is, you know, it's the neck issue. <laughs> Listen, they're, they're such a fun channel and I'm gonna... They have no idea that I'm doing this, so tell them that Patty from Rockstar Mom sent you and just show them some love. I, I, you know, I asked you to do this a few weeks ago to, um, to crush in their 80s, Nanny and Moose, and oh my gosh, their channel, thanks to you, their channel has just exploded, and they are getting so many new subscribers. I, I'm so happy for them, so happy for them. So, you know, when I see somebody that I'm loving, you know I am going to share it with you. And, and I'll be real surprised if y'all don't like Melanie and Molly as much as you like um, Nanny and Moose on Crushing Their 80s. Go check them out. 
and tell them I sent you. All right, that's it. Don't forget to go out and be kind. Just be kind and know that I love you. And I'll see you soon, okay? Bye-bye.